Today I'm going to be showing you how to showcase your 3D Vroid and Live 2D VTuber models using OBS Studio, VC Face and VTube Studio. I will be using OBS Studio, however this tutorial will also work if you use OBS Streamlabs. I'll be showing you how to showcase your 3D model with two sources and two ways in which you can showcase your 2D live model. So feel free to click the timestamps in the video. For 3D Vroid models, the first thing you will want to do is open up VC Face or whatever software that you would like to show your model in. VMagic Mirror should work the same. Once you have loaded your model, connect it to your webcam or source of face tracking. I personally use VTube Studio app on my iPhone to track my face. On VTube Studio, you can open the app, go to settings and type in your IP. You should be able to find your IP under VC Face settings. You can then track your face using your phone. Go back to VC Face and select the little X in the right hand corner of the screen and your background should now be removed. Next, open up OBS Studio and add a new source. For this, we're going to add a game capture source. If you're on Mac, you can also do this with a window capture instead. Then make sure to select VC Face as the window and click allow transparency to remove the background. You should be able to see your model working in OBS Studio now. To create the second model, right click on your game capture source and then copy it. Then under the game capture source, right click and then add paste. It should then paste the game capture creating two screens of your model which you can now move around. I recommend going back to VC face and making the model a full body so that you're able to get a full shot of your model in OBS. To move the screens, select the lock icon in the source you're not going to be using and then select the other game capture. Otherwise, you might have issues being able to move which capture you want. You can then add a background by going to the new source, then clicking image and selecting the background you would like. Then drag it to the bottom of your sources. Now your showcase is ready for recording. If you would like to record your showcase and have fully set it up, you can now just click start recording. However, if you've not set up your recording, you can then go to settings and down to output. Then click advanced, I personally record in the MOV, but you're welcome to pick whichever recording format suits you best. Once done, click apply and now you're ready to record. This method also works for live 2D models as well. Open up your live 2D software. I'm going to be using VTube Studio. Add your face tracking. Again, I'm using VTube Studio mobile app. Then go into OBS Studio and add a new game capture source and select the window as VTube Studio. This should bring up your model in OBS Studio. Then right click on your source and add a filter. Then add a chroma key to remove the background. You can then right click on the game capture source to then copy it. Then right click underneath the source and paste. You can then move your sources around to showcase your model. You can add a new background by adding an image source and uploading your file. You can then click record and you're ready to go. The last way in which you can showcase your live 2D model is by using VTube Studio. And this uses one source in OBS Studio. Select the model you would like to showcase in VTube Studio. Click the first star next to the picture icon. You can then click load model as live 2D item and you should see that your model appears next to your current model. You can then change the size of your model and see that both models react to face tracking and the hotkeys at the same time. You can then open OBS Studio and add a new source as a game capture or a window capture. And then add a chroma key to remove the background. You should see both models under one source. You can then always go back into VTube Studio to change the size. You can also load different models by using this as well. And you can always remove the models at any time by going back to the first star and clicking remove all live 2D items from the scene. Then you can click record and you're ready to film your showcase. After these steps are done, you can then take the recordings and edit them in whatever software you like. And now your showcase is done. I hope this tutorial was helpful and you were able to make lots of amazing showcases now. If you like my work, feel free to check out my other tutorials on my channel and I hope you have an amazing day.